CataractCoach.com. Cataract Quiz. When did the capsule break? Can you figure out when the complication happened? Let's show you the case here. We have an experienced surgeon who's operating. Getting a good capsule X is done. Rest of the case seemed pretty normal. Everything looked routine. So again, completing the Rexes here. This part of the video is at two times normal speed. All looks pretty good. And again, experienced surgeon here. So let's watch carefully. Here comes some hydro dissection. And we'll see that looks like a 27 gauge blunt cannula. Doing a little hydro dissection here. Let's see the fluid wave go across. That was a snap sign. Did you see that? You better rewind the video. That was the snap sign. Now, I don't know why the patient had a snap sign. Is this a posterior polar that you didn't see? Was it too small of a rexus? No, nah, the rexus looked pretty good. Maybe the patient had prior intravitreal injection, which damaged the capsule bag. Maybe there's some other weakness in the capsule bag. But that was the snap sign. That looked like the snap sign. You better go back and watch that again. Rewind the video. Go back and watch again. That, to me, looked like a very subtle snap sign. Now, look at the pupils a little bit smaller. And now we pretty much know the capsule's open, but how much open is it? To what extent? We don't know. So here comes a groove down the middle. Looks like a stop and chop technique. Now, when will you notice? Watch carefully. When will you notice that there is a ruptured capsule or breakage? So again, maybe using a little bit of higher phaco power here would be helpful in order to get that going. All righty. And now here's a groove down the middle. Let's continue the groove. Okay, so far so good, right? I think maybe, if anything, use more phaco power because it's a little bit denser than you think, or maybe expose more of the needle on the tip. Here's a crack down the middle. Now, let's see. Everything looks okay so far. Hey, did I tell you about retinarounds.com, our sister channel? Amazing. Even for a cataract surgeon like me, I promise you're going to love it and learn so much. Now, let's get back to our case here. Having a little bit of a tough time splitting up the nucleus, but again, it all looks pretty normal at this point. So now, higher vacuum mode, bringing the pieces up. So looks like a stop and chop technique. Looks pretty good. Now there the capsule looks like it's intact. We're looking out for a really bright red reflex. So far, it looks pretty reasonable. Fluidics are behaving pretty normally. The lens nucleus is not falling posterior. It looks okay. Maybe it's a little deep back there, but it doesn't look terrible. Let me know when you think you can finally see the break in the capsule. Because the capsule is broken. You saw the title slide. So buzzing in now the second half and a good chop bringing the pieces up. So very good control here. The surgeon's doing a fantastic job of keeping everything stable. And again, at this point, the surgeon may not even realize that the capsule's open because that's that snap sign, like Ronald Joe taught us 30 years ago, is very subtle. So now going in here, removing the last of the, of the pieces here. Again, you may think everything's normal until watch this. As these last few pieces come up out of the capsule bag, again, it may be quite a surprise. So bringing the pieces up, Nice and easy, a little bit of an epinuclear shell that just needs a barely a little bit of energy. And you can aspirate that down pretty easily. And look back, there it is, look at that. Now maybe, look at that, the anterior capsule rim looks like it split also and ran backwards. So at about the one o'clock position in your view, oh, don't come out of the eye here, don't let the eye deflate. I like it, it went back in the eye, that's a good idea. Let's get the viscoelastic in there. So maybe the anterior capsule rim broke there and then split all the way to the posterior capsule. That probably looks like what happened, right? See it about 1 o'clock in your view, maybe 1 30. Right there, there's where the capsule's anterior capsule just split, and it ran all the way back to the posterior. Now, what are you going to do here? First, is there vitreous prolapse? I don't know. I don't think so. Now, it's a little hard to see at this point because you've already put the tripod, the viscoelastic and you can't put triamcinolone to stay in it. It won't stay in the vitreous now, but you may be okay here. So could you just now put in a three-piece lens of the sulcus and it's called this done? You know, that's probably a reasonable option at this point. I'm not sure there's any vitreous prolapse. See how the break in the capsule is still uh, to the side? It hasn't expanded yet. I think that just tells us that, okay, maybe the bag is broken that one part, but maybe there's no vitreous prolapse. So here comes the lens. Yeah, looks like, uh, let's see what kind of lens we got going in here. Deliver, deliver, deliver. Is that, oh, it's a single piece. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Putting a single piece in the bag. Oh, you can do that too. Be very careful because that one part of the bag is wide open. And unfortunately, the lens already opened up. You want to avoid too much manipulation here. This has to go in the bag. Do not put the single piece of acrylic lens in the sulcus. Then it looks like you still got one haptic out. Get that tucked in. Oh, this is a little bit tougher now. Because as you do more and more maneuvering, get the lens in, be careful you don't damage the bag. I'd get a Sinsky hook. Yeah, exactly. Pull that happen towards you. Exactly. I would do the same thing. And get that. Make sure it's all in the bag. 
and surprisingly, it looks pretty stable. Now, I may have gone for a three-piece lens with Hapix and Sulcus instead. I think that may be a little bit more in my comfort zone, but this certainly looked like it worked out okay. Now, don't forget to bring the pupil down with some myocol. And now there's some hydration of the incisions. I just put a suture in. You just cannot risk a flat AC if the patient rubs the eye or something. A suture here is easy. I like the, the BSS squirting to kind of wash out viscoelastic. I'd probably go to make a second pair and do a bimanual. I don't want to wash out more of it. Ooh, don't do that. Don't pull the iris out. Why that happened? Think about it. Pressure gradient. You're trapped some BSS behind the iris. Again, a suture here would make your life a lot easier. It's my recommendation. I'd make another pair of these. There you go. You already have one. Do a bimanual um, viscoelastic removal. Wow, that's a stressful case. So what do you think? Leave a comment below. Let's all learn together, okay? And check it out. Remember, you got to see Retina Rounds too, our sister channel. So much great material.